guys sorry to interrupt your video just a quick plea subscribe to my channel please if you haven't done it already subscribe tell your friends subscribe thanks other stuff traffic lights okay this causes it's all very well I, mean, I know it so it would be right think of the traffic lights like peppers or tomatoes right they start off green and as they ripen they turn red so they go through yellow to red all right uh, you could therefore think of yellow as a midway between green and red or you could think of it as yellow means get ready I'm changing from this to this all right now if I filmed the ripening of a tomato I could watch that film backwards or forwards so if I was watching the film it could go from green yellow red or it could go red yellow green couldn't it because I could just play it backwards or forwards okay I am going somewhere with this by the way now I'm showing you this film but I haven't told you which way I am running it so it could be forwards or backwards all right and if I started with a yellow how would you know if it was going to go red or if it was going to go green because I haven't told you which way I'm running the film yet you wouldn't and that's why you need to know the sequence okay a lot of people think that when you get an amber it could go either way how the hell do you know it's because there is own a specific sequence of lighting you don't just get an amber light and it could go either way it only goes one way so starting with a green tomato the sequence would naturally go green amber red don't forget that when we talk yellow amber it's the same thing okay but when we're talking about traffic lights and stuff we always say amber or you could say it means go get ready stop all right because that's what it means green amber red means go get ready stop if i was coming back down what you actually get on a traffic light is you get red and you get red and amber so notice how i said to you don't get amber on its own if you only get amber on its own it's going in one direction only when you come back down it's red and amber green so what it means is stop then stop but get ready green so it means go get ready stop stop but get ready go notice the difference all right so now you know you only get amber on its on its own when you're going from green to red when you're coming back down it's red and amber that still means stop but it's basically saying stop but get ready whilst I'm talking about the old amber the rule is amber means stop at the line but because it's not a full stop it's sort of ripening to a full stop if by stopping you are going to cause an accident you may keep going so it still means stop but if by causing an accident you stop then you can keep going therefore on the approach to a traffic light it is really important that you know who is behind you and how close they are can you stop suddenly or can't you all right right so by now you already know that the white line is for a tram and in this instance it's a signal for a tram to proceed right you already know this because you've got the, the white line that means up so they can keep going right if you didn't know that go back and watch the tram bits right an arrow think about it on a traffic light means that traffic moving in that direction can go right so get a lot of arrows stack them on top of each other so just plonk one on top of the other you go what one point that way and then one point that way and that way right now put them on top of each other so you go, it's got loads pointing in one direction you would end up with a green circle so therefore a green circle means that you can go in any direction because it is just basically loads of arrows pointing in lots of directions this means that people turning right get to go early but everybody else must stop then it goes like this 
which means everybody else can get ready but people can still turn right and then it goes like this or this right now because a circle means that anyone can go in any direction that means that people can also turn right so it's just that it's confirmed it's doubled up so this actually is the same as that it's just that that's overkill see what i mean because the circle itself says that you can turn right anyway so these arrows are often used during rush hour times and at weekends they don't bother using the arrows so don't just sit there waiting for an arrow if it's a weekend a green circle means anyone in any direction can go Sometimes you get traffic lights with go left or go right ahead only, etc. on them. The traffic light adjoining it is therefore only for people going in that direction. So for instance here, this is an arrow saying ahead only. So therefore this traffic light is for people going ahead only. And this one is for people turning left only. The light itself, in this instance, they do actually give you arrows, they do this. Uh, but it could be a circle but because the circle is connected to that blue sign then that circle is only for people going in that direction but if that sign wasn't there then anyone in any direction could go all right this one right i mentioned it earlier traffic lights stopped working sometimes well traffic lights do stop working sometimes and whilst we're waiting for them to be fixed you will get this sign so Traffic lights change priority, as I mentioned earlier. Therefore, if the lights are broken, there is no priority. Therefore, you are in danger and you should take extreme caution when you are going through the junction. So still proceed, but I'll be checking around. And as soon as you think, yeah, that'll do, leg it before somebody wipes you out. But careful. Uh, I have done a video specifically on pedestrian crossings as part of all of this theory stuff. So go and have a look at it right matrix signs these are the signs you get down the middle of motorways and in overhead gantries and all sorts of stuff like this okay um, and they are supposed to sort of semi reflect what are the normal road signs are okay so for instance this means change lane or move to the left just like the keep left sign here that we normally get on a traffic island in the middle of a road in town uh, this means the right hand lane is shut, just like this does. So you see what I mean? So they try to represent. Here, temporary advisory maximum 50 mile an hour. It's only legally enforceable if in a red circle or accompanied by the roadworks sign, if we go back to the speeds. Okay, so there's no circle on it, but if we had a roadworks sign and that sign, then it is legally enforceable. But if that was just in the middle of the motorway, because it's foggy, then it is only an advisory speed limit. But remember, if you break an advisory speed limit and you're involved in something, then the police will come down hard on you. Right, this means go ahead and then turn left. Well, the only place you can turn left on a motorway would be an exit, wouldn't it? So, just like this one, go ahead and then turn left. So this on a motorway means get off at the next exit. And this is the end of the restriction that might have been shown in the middle. These restrictions might say fog, for instance. Okay. Um, remember, if it's on its own, it's only advisory. Right. It becomes legally enforceable. Well, I've just covered it in a red circle or accompanied by the roadworks sign rule 288. There we go. So that is the newer version. So you can have the 50 in a red circle. So that is legal. Um, that and that is legal. You can get them above lanes or on the side of the road they could be on the left or they could be on the right um, if it's over a specific lane like this then that applies to the lane if it's on the side of the road then it applies across the entire carriageway so here we've got Q caution 40 the entire motorway has to comply with that um, remember a red cross like here and here uh, do not pass a red cross it is illegal if it applies to all lanes if that had a red cross in it you have to stop and wait for further instructions the motorway is closed so the whole motorway comes to a stop i'll turn my engine off chill out all right vehicle markings 
stuff on vehicles. Right, here we go. All our red and amber uh, are on markings on the rear of large good vehicles over seven and a half tons and trailers over three and a half tons. The vertical markings are also required for build skips in the road and commercial vehicles over 13 meters. Fine, so you get this stuff on skips and this stuff on lorries. Uh, just wanted to highlight to you, do not confuse the red and yellow on the vehicles with the black and yellow seen on bridges. Okay, this is something that pops up. These are questions that pop up in the theory test questions. So remember, yellow and red are lorries, skips, things like that. But black and yellow are bridges. You get details of the type of cargo in the lorry. It's to help emergency services if they have to deal with an incident involving them. So like you get these plaques here. Uh, not entirely sure what all of that guff means, but it does mean that they're causing, they're carrying flammable liquid and it's poisonous to the environment. So we don't want spillages and it'll blow up. So the fire brigade will stay well away from it. Right, these things are required when load or equipment overhangs front or rear by more than two meters. So for instance, he's gonna put these stripes around here. He's got them on the back. So anything, this bloke is a bloody great. He's got legs that come out the side and he's a massive skip that will well exceed the length of the vehicle. So they've got these stripes all over them. This one, again, theory to ask question, school bus. Uh, he's got it there. And it doesn't, it only needs to be displayed once. It could be on the front or the rear, doesn't matter.